to her two little brothers, and before she goes back to London, she takes them out for lunch to spend some time alone with them. I don't like act like Nick is my famous sister like that. I just act like a normal boy in school. I go on, I'm taking a picture. Are you going to have a Taking a picture. Um, Come here then. <laughs> It's quite important for me to spend time with them because, like, I don't want to be one of them sisters that they never see or, or they don't know, you know? I want them to know me and to feel like I'm part of the family, like, I'd hate to never be there. What are you doing? Being at the top has changed Nicola's life, but it won't last forever and she's determined to stay the same. I think fame can change you. I think money, more so with a bit of fame changes you. You know, life isn't all about every, being in the paper or being on the telly and don't get me wrong, I love it. I really love it. But, you know, it's not the be all and end all to life. Yay! Let's go! The next day, all five girls arrive at Silverstone to be special guests on the car show, Fifth Gear. Here we are, about to drive to our deaths. Hello. Hey. Are you excited? Yeah, I've got my racing jacket, my racing shoes. I'm ready to roll. We're doing Fifth Gear. Just because it's fun, really, and not really for any other reason. I think it's really good to let off a bit of steam and, and not have to pay for it because it's a TV show. I've got to let you into a secret. I, I actually just really, really like Girls Aloud and thought it'd be brilliant to get them on the show as a way of meeting them. And they, uh, they said yes, which is great for us. It's one of the perks of being Girls Aloud and a chance to road test some very expensive mortars. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to doing this. I'm here. Each of our pop princesses are racing against the clock to see who's the fastest. I'm scared. Oh, God. My turn. I think I could do quicker than like, quicker than that if it was time posted. What time, Nadine? My time is 1.59. You hear all sorts of stories about, God, they're terrible to work with, but they've been really, really nice to us. Bring it on. They've been dolls. Oh, my God. Is she worrying you? The insurers never expected her to do that. Oh, I'm getting me one of those. It's gears, and normally I drive mine's automatic. So good, bad. It was fine, you know, but I was in control, so it wasn't bad at all. I'm actually trying to pull some strings to get in the Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm pushing my luck. With filming almost finished, Sarah wants more. She's got her eye in a classic Ferrari, and she's determined to take it for a spin. Quick team photo. Yeah. For us, and then we'll get in that Ferrari. 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 Ferr
Let's go. Undeterred, Sarah races off in the dented Ferrari, leaving Drew and the fifth gear crew to assess the damage. I just said, are we going to continue with this? And she said, yeah, just move the Porsche. Want to let me out? I don't think she's actually realised what she's done. It's <laughs> 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 How are you feeling right now? Well, uh, reflective. <laughs> Anyone got any tickets? Why didn't she just drive normally until she got out of the thing? <laughs> That's a beautiful Ferrari. I think it's got a bit of a dance in it. I'll just clear everything out of this car park if she's coming back. Whoa! Fuck! The fifth gear film crew wait for Sarah to return from her expensive drive to see the damage herself. Apart from the beginning, started out badly and you're out quite good. I'm not very good at getting through tight gaps as you can see. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take it. I can't get it off. Yeah. Can I help you? I'm going to strangle you with it. <laughs> Would you like to inspect the Ferrari? Go. Shit. How much do I owe? Would you just like to? It's just one of those things. Her heart's yeah. pounding and. But she did well. I mean, she's had a great day. I think all the girls have enjoyed, enjoyed themselves today. And they all did really well. But Sarah is, without doubt, a uh, <laughs> proper nutcase. <laughs> Next week, girls will load head east and go behind the bamboo curtain. <laughs> and Cheryl keeps it real on a trip back home to Newcastle. This one, freaking. Sherry's waiting, he's waiting on us, he's waiting on us. I do not believe. And that's at the same time next week. Tomorrow night at 10, borderline birds are transformed into high street honeys by the power of Chantel. But next, it's the power of karma that's running Earl's life. <laughs>